are looking a little kind of suspect. And it's it's sad that one of the people that I actually, you know, actually liked and everything like that and stuff, um, a.k.a. Didi. Um, yeah, he's basically... <laughs> question is he's basically on the run we don't know because <laughs> it's kind of a little suspect now i ain't gonna lie it's kind of a little suspect about how things are going on and i don't like the way things are going on with him you know first of all he already has tried to how would i say he already like the whole cassie thing came up oh my god like when that came up everybody swore up and down they paid him that he paid her off and everything like that, which he did you know and low-key did it you know and then it's like after he did all of that it was like he turned around and he turned around and he was like yeah like what's up you know like everybody was like like bro you paid her off like you paid her off to drop the drop the case you paid a hush money so that's what everybody was getting at they was getting at that and everything and yeah they were basically was getting at that about the whole situation the whole ordeal and stuff so yeah i don't know i do not know what to say about that because like i said that message crazy let's see how they got that going but um without further ado we're going to get, go ahead and talk about this we're going to talk about this right here so yeah exhibit a blam rolling stone Sean Combs home braided as part of a sex trafficking investigation. Not only one home, but two that have been raided on both different coasts, Los Angeles and Miami. So, yeah, the whole scoop is, you know, about that is like he gotten his house raided. Some people don't know. It. Well, yeah, I say it like that. Some people don't know. Mostly everybody that been talking that within my circle, they been talking about, oh, man, have you heard about that? Have you heard about it? Yes, I heard about it. <laughs> and I said, that's why we're going to talk about it tonight, you know? So, other than that, you know, I mean, he said both homes have been raided. And then the thing about it is, the thing about it is it's not even raided by regular police. This is Homeland Security that, that raided the joint. Like, that blew me. That took me over the top. I didn't know what to expect, you know? Didn't know what to expect from that, you know? And, you know, 50, you know, Fifth had to sit up there and put his two cents in it and all that. Talking about so they wouldn't, they wouldn't um raid his house unless they had a unless they had like a um a reason to which is also true because that was the first thing i actually thought of when i first got the news i was like they must got something really serious on him or whatever for him to like raid his house like that so that's one thing two like read right here i mean if you want to zoom into this you can or whatever like that but right there Helicopter agents were seen swarming the Combs L.A. mansion on Monday, which was earlier today. Footage seen to be a pair that shows some men later identified as both his sons. They were detained and waiting outside. And I'm guessing they were, that's the reason why they were in handcuffs and all the, the whole nine. Bro, like that mess was crazy. They reportedly seized their phones. The Bad Boy Records um, executive was scheduled to leave for a trip to the Caribbean. Now, we're going to touch on that. Scheduled. Scheduled, you say. Okay. 
Why does it seem like he's scheduled to have this stuff? Coincidentally, when he's like getting a raid and at the same time, I think they said earlier today, I think they said, I don't know. I we don't know for sure. Some people actually come off saying that, hey, he's um he's in Miami still. And then I'm having some people sitting out here talking about myself, oh, he's in the Bahamas. I think the Caribbean. Let me see. So like 52, 52 minutes ago, right here. Somebody said he was spotted around the Miami area. Okay. See what we got here. I'm going to say, come on up. So apparently feds searched the house part of, you know, a probe. That's crazy. Got the whole nine. Let's see. Got of the 72 centers, does Yeah, we're going to wait till this goes up and everything like that and stuff. Yeah. That's crazy. They had the undercovers and everything. Like, they had some everything. Like, wow. Homeland Security. Wow. And it's like both of them at the same time, too. Like, wow. investigation in New York he's connected to so there's nothing else that nothing else that's coming up and everything like that see here it is right here Cone's former protege and girlfriend Cassie sued him in November, allegating the years of sexual abuse, including rape. I do not see how in the world would you rape, rape that girl. Like, I, that's, yeah. That's crazy. Tomasa, he, really? He forced her to do that with male prostitutes while he filmed them. The suit was later say settled. Oh, come on. It was later settled the day after it was filed. Yeah. Okay, he basically was like, he basically was like, ah, he was like, Basically acting like he was untouchable a little bit, you know, low key trying to act like that in a little bit. So yeah. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. The music in the music industry has not faced reckoning to the same degree, but singer and producer, you know, R. Kelly is serving a prison sentence regarding Alan, you know, abusing young friend, fans. Um, Seven women has sued hip hop mogul Russell Simmons. Allegedly, you know, he, he graped them. Um, and then two women are actually, you know, 
have sued Aerosmith singer um, Steven Tyler over, you know, alleged, you know, alleging assault. So, yeah, that mess crazy. How they got all this. Wow. Yeah, I I just don't know what to say about that that whole situation with him. It's it's it it does it blows my mind because it's like you want to sit up there and think that everything everything is gonna be okay with the person, and maybe they just sitting up here just throwing allegations out and everything like that. But this right here is some some deep serious stuff right here, real deep. I started, I was okay at first when it started, like, saying, oh, he did this, he did that. I was okay with it, but when you start sitting up here and you start stepping down from revolt, that was, that was one pillar. And then you start cutting ties with De Leon, the tequila drink, uh, I think Ciroc. All them came afterwards. When those started coming afterwards and everything like that, then it's like, okay, yeah, you know, this is actually trying to, this is actually settling in as an issue. So I didn't want it to be, I didn't want to believe that it was going to be an issue, but when this happened, yeah, you might as well say that's a, that's a done deal. And, you know, like 50 said, you know, they wouldn't raid your house unless they had probable cause. So I'm hoping that it's not nothing crazy going on with him about that and stuff. Any more than what they just did. If they raid the house, they raid the house. That's one thing. But if they find anything, that's a different thing. You know, find anything incriminating and stuff like that. So I don't know, man. I just hope it's not. To be honest, I just hope it's not because this is crazy. Crazy how they got all this stuff going on and stuff. But yeah, it's real, real crazy how they got all that. I mean, just let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about the whole Diddy thing. Because it, it, you know, I mean, this is. This is actually going to be turning out to something that you're going to be like, mm. like this was one of my childhood people that I used to listen to and everything like that. But now it's like, it's going into a whole different thing. Now it's like a whole nother level. Yeah. Let me know in the comment section what y'all feel like. Cause right now at this point, I'm not even I can't, I'm not going to sit up there and say I can't stomach it but or whatever, but it's just right now at this point, I'm just trying to figure it out. We all trying to figure it out because right now at this point, we're just all trying to figure it out because I can't just expect that. I can't sit up there and expect that anything good to come out of this. Not, not that we're like this deep into the rabbit hole and stuff like that with him. So, you know. Yeah. Other than that, yeah. It is what it is. I'm just gonna let it stay like that.